Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie and if you already know who I am, welcome back. In today's video, I am going to be doing a look with this Kylie palette. And I did use some other products because I felt like I needed something more, you know, to pop out. This palette does not have a brown color that I could actually use because they're all peachy colors and they just like, it just disappears with all the peachiness. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you guys are interested to seeing how I created this look with this palette and some other palettes, keep on watching and let's carry on with the video, guys. So I already did my eyebrows and I put the eyeshadow primer on my eyes. So now I'm just gonna set it. I'm gonna use this palette, this shade right over here. I think it's called Duke. I'm not sure. So I'm going to take Peachy and I'm going to put this right in the outer and then taking it towards my crease and this is going to act as our transition shade. Ooh. And I'm just going to blend this out and make it look nice and smooth. gonna come to this palette right over here this is the Kathleen light collab with Morphe I'm gonna take this matte brown and I'm gonna use this to make my eye look a little bit deeper because the Kylie palette does have a brownish color but it's like peachy which is this one right here and I don't want too much peach so I'm just gonna use that brown. and I'm gonna put this in the outer and then I'm gonna take it towards my crease and then just like really blend it out just going to take the Kylie brush, which is this one. It's dirty because I was using it. And I kind of got it to work better for me. Really nice blending brush, actually. After you use it a while, you like break it in. Yo, this pimple hurts. I'm coming back to the Royal Peach palette and I'm going to take this blue, which is called Royal Blue. I can't forget that one. It's a really pretty color. I'm going to put this in my eyelid like halfway here, like fancy soup. I'm just putting it right up there. And I'm just going to dab it. I'm actually going to take this shadow all the way. There is follow as you can see. I really had high hopes for this shadow. This go on a little bit patchy so you do have to build it up a little bit. Come back to this palette and I'm going to take the brown. I'm just going to put that right over here. I'm kind of blending, just shaping it up. And now I'm just going to blend the side a bit. So I'm actually going to clean up all of this because it looks crazy. I cleaned up everything and this is how it looks. And I feel like it needs a little bit more sparkle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. I'm going to use this blue to put it in the outer, like where the blue is. And just take it halfway and from there I'm probably going to take this shade and put it right there in the corner. Woo! So I'm just putting it in the outer part of the blue and I'm just gonna slowly put in that shimmer blue. Ooh, that's so pretty. So now I'm just gonna blend the side a little bit. Now I'm taking this baby blue shade. This one. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna put that in the inter. In the intro, intro. I'm gonna put this in the inner corner.
And then I'm going to go back with that shimmery blue and just blend it with it. Seriously, all these blues have really bad fallout. I don't know if y'all can see that. That looks crazy. It actually shows you that all these palettes have fallout. They have some sort of fallout. So, y'all can't be so judgy. I'm gonna come back to this palette and I'm taking this shade. Dab it a little bit. And then I'm just gonna go on my brow bone and then just blend out everything on top. And I'm going to clean up everything one last time because that shimmery blue had some fallout. I'm going to put on my foundation and my concealer. We'll show you what I'm using. I'm going to be using this Shape Tape from Tarte. I'm so excited to use it. I just got it and I'm very excited because everyone says it's really good and I'm excited to say that's true. And then I'm going to use my foundation from Maybelline and this one is the Matte Poreless. And this is my favorite foundation. I'm already out of it but there's like a little bit more that I could use so I'm gonna use that and then I'll be back and we'll finish the eyes and all that jazz <laughs> damn I think I'll finish with the look I think I put a little bit too much five hours later hey so I already put on my foundation and my concealer so this is how my face looks now girl I am shook I love this concealer look how much it covered up on my nastiness that burnt mark it covered girl I'm shook I'm gonna put my I don't know if I want to wear eyeliner it kind of looks nice that day. for my liner I'm going to be using the Alpha Precision liquid liner. I'm not gonna give myself a dramatic eyeliner today. I'm just gonna do a simple eye. So I decided I wanted to do a little cat eye. It looks a little bit nicer. It looks more like me. So I'm going to be using the Tarte Pro Glow Palette to contour using Sculpt. This one, go right here. Mmm, go. Yes. And I'm just going to take a little bit on this brush and just sculpt my nose. I'm going to be using this Tarte Amazon clay blush palette and I'm gonna be using concept which is this one right here so I'm gonna put some like right on top of my contour that I do I'm gonna come back to this Tarte Pro Glow palette and I'm gonna use lit I'm going to use lit with my finger and then I'm just going to put it on my nose like so. And I'm going to take this shade here and put this in the inner corner. Now I'm going to be taking this L'Oreal setting spray. And I've been using this setting spray a lot because it makes my foundation just look more natural it doesn't look so you know cakey because you girl I beat my face so I'm gonna put this before I put my mascara because I don't want my mascara to run so I'm gonna be using NYX liquid sway lipstick and this one is called sandstorm hmm this is nice put my mascara off camera because I feel like putting on mascara is pretty on the board. So after that, I'll be back. I put on some fake lashes and I put on mascara on and those are the fake lashes on there. They're called UBU. I got them at Marshalls and they were like four bucks. So yeah. Anyways, this is the final look. So here is the look. I'm gonna do that weird little, you know, playing. 
I am going to do another look with the Kylie Royal Peach Palette just because I want to test out all the colors. It's kind of warming up to me because it doesn't have that smell and I found out that you could actually take out the eyeshadow pan so that's pretty cool guys. So it's not broken, it's just magnetic. See that's why it smells too. I don't know. Here's the palette and I'm going to take out, I'm going to take this shade out. I haven't ever taken them out, I just saw someone taking them out. Ooh, there. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> See, you could remove them, which is pretty cool. So I'm guessing that you could remove the other shadows from the other palette, which is pretty cool since it, if you don't like the packaging, you could like put them in the Z palette or something. It doesn't really smell anymore. It went away. So that or it got used to it. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it went away. But they do swatch on your arms pretty bad. But like when you put them on, they're pretty pigmented and they're easy to blend and all that jazz. So this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to follow me on any social media, it will be down below. So make sure you'll check that out. Well, I'm not going like this. I don't know. I don't know. If you want to watch my last video, you could like click right here. And if you want to subscribe, you could click right here. So yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.